Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow him golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Feet step over splinters of the moon. Peppermint tea as always. Hello friends. Oh, how I missed you so very much. I am so sorry to have been away for two weeks. I got really, really sick and I did not want to make a big deal out of it or cause unnecessary worry and be dramatic. So I just didn't say anything and I am all better now. I feel so much better and I'm so grateful for my health. I don't really know what was wrong with me or what I had, but a few Fridays ago, I woke up with a fever. And so I went to the doctor and they did all sorts of tests on me. I had blood taken for the first time, which was not the best, but uh, yeah, they tested me for everything they could think of, like COVID, mono, strep, leukemia, like so many different things and everything came back negative. So I was just told to rest and my doctor called me every single day to keep an eye on me or just to check in and make sure that I was okay. And I drank copious amounts of tea. I listened to multiple audiobooks. I watched so many comforting movies like Parent Trap, both the Mary Poppins, You've Got Mail, Pride and Prejudice, oh, all of it was so good. And then some of you sent me messages and commented saying that you hoped that I was okay and let me know that you were re-watching my old videos because you missed me. And even though I was feeling really, really terrible physically, your kind words made me feel so much better emotionally. They were so healing for my spirit. So thank you so very much. And thank you also for being here, for sticking around. I have this fear that I just, let people down by not posting. I have so many people say that they look forward to my videos each and every single Friday. And that first Friday that I didn't upload, I was just heartbroken at the idea of people checking my page over and over again to see if I uploaded and then being disappointed each time that I hadn't. 
oh that made me so sad so yeah i had a lot of fears associated with not posting regularly and i think that it was really really good for me not only to just truly rest and get better but to go through the experience of not posting all of that aside i am so happy to be back each and every time that i step away from filming i miss it so much and i'm just continually reassured that this is what i'm meant to do this is what i love doing and i'm so immensely grateful to have each and every single one of you so thank you thank you so much even though i'm feeling better physically i am feeling a bit off mentally and emotionally and i think it's mostly because i'm out of my routine and out of my groove and i still feel some guilt or i don't know i don't feel like a failure i just i haven't shown up and i feel so behind on so many things but i'm trying to see it as this being a fresh start rather than me catching up on everything that i missed so i think that i need a day to just reset i need to do my laundry I need to get my computer all organized and my old footage sorted. I'd also love to do some fun things like I'm taking an art class or an illustration course on Domestica and I'm in the final phase and the final phase is doing a self-portrait and I'd love to do that today. I did some journaling and some reading this morning and I took care of all my plants. They were definitely needing some water so that feels good to have done. I also have some admin work but I'm gonna tiptoe into it or not tiptoe just ease into it all so today is going to be a self-care and light organization day focused on my space because once my space is clean and in order i feel so much better mentally and then emotionally just filming this video and doing my art class and reading some will help me to feel so much better. So friends, go ahead and make yourselves a hot cup of tea or coffee. Grab your favorite cozy blanket. It's finally getting cold in Portland. Not necessarily cold, but it's definitely chillier. Hence my sweater, which is so exciting. Yeah, get comfy and let's get to it. just cardigans that I like to wear during the summertime. They're like lighter weight and then I have a flannel for whenever Landon and I go camping. And then I have these dresses, lots of teals and blues and then cream. And then this random jumpsuit that Landon got for me that I absolutely love. And then these are all my tops. So I've just organized them by color. I have a few tank tops. This is my favorite shirt at the moment for summertime. Um, I also love this one. I've worn it in quite a few videos. Lots of stripes. I really, really uh, love stripes. Who doesn't? And then just uh, t-shirts because I wear lots of t-shirts in the summertime. And then the most exciting part are the items that I pulled down for the in between time so this is my all-time favorite sweater it is by olive 
Then I just pulled out this yellow sweater because it's like sunshine. I have this striped turtleneck long sleeve sailor shirt. Do buttons mean that it's a sailor type thing? I don't know, but it makes me feel like an artist when I wear it. I also have my favorite fall sweater. It's nice and orange. Reminds me of Fantastic Mr. Fox and is also a hand-me-down from my grandma. Then I have this striped shirt that makes me really happy. And then a fancy shirt that I haven't worn yet, but it's a blouse. So this color palette is amazing. Oh, look at that. So that feels amazing. I finished my sketch, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and go climb my reading tree and have a good read. <laughs> yes, I have a tree in the backyard that I really love to sit and read in. And currently I'm reading The Midnight Library by Matt Haig for my Patreon book club. And I've read the first two chapters. Ooh, <laughs> it is a heavy one. It's really heavy, but I think that it'll be positive in the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go read in the reading tree. I made you some tea, man. It looks so good. Wow, look at that steam and the lemons on the side. Thank you so much, Lan. No problem. You made it from scratch, right? Scratch ginger tea. It's a secret recipe. You, you kind of just boil ginger. Very secret. Here you go. Thank you, kind sir. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh, so good, man.
have some more ginger brewing for another ginger tea. Not potato sticks, contrary to common belief. <laughs> Not potato sticks. And then, um, Lynn, I wanted to get something behind you. <laughs> so, if you look up here, this is a bag of Trader Joe's Scandinavian Swimmers, AKA the best gummies ever. The reason they're on the top shelf is because Landon puts them there because I cannot be helped, guys. I will eat the whole bag. These things are my favorite. So, I can't really reach them. I can't quite try Okay, them. let's see. for a red. Ooh, ooh. Mm. They are so good. Good morning friends, it is the next day and I've spent the morning finishing my illustration. <laughs> oh, I almost didn't want to show you guys, but I will. Can you see it? Is it in focus? Yes, there it is. Um, I really like the bright colors. Wait. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I really like the bright colors and the patterns. <laughs> I just have so much to learn as far as drawing people goes. And I learned a bit about basic human anatomy in the course that I took with Sarah on Domestica. And it was really helpful. Personally, I just don't know how to draw eyes or mouths. And I really need to figure that out. I want my style to be whimsical, so I don't want it to look super realistic, but I also don't want it to be like extremely cartoon, and I just have no idea how to do that just yet, so I need to practice, but overall, I'm happy with how this turned out, and it was a really, really fun exercise. I so highly recommend the course, but yeah, before I sign off, I just wanted to sit down with you all and have a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart about self-sabotage. So, um, I feel like I've been pretty open about my YouTube analytics and how my channel just has not been performing well on YouTube all of 2021. Luckily though, my Patreon has stayed strong and that's what's been financially supporting me this year. Um, but enough of that. This isn't about YouTube. It is about self-sabotage. When I was sick, I had to actually really truly rest and because I was resting, I couldn't film and upload videos to YouTube and that was so difficult for me as I've already mentioned but it helped me somehow to realize that I set very high standards for myself. And if these standards are not met, it causes extreme self-doubt and consequent self-sabotage. So I realized this, when I look back on my life, it's everywhere. It's in my friendships, it's in my relationships, it's in work, it's in anything that I've been creative about or passionate about, like hobbies. Literally everywhere. So with friendships, I had these two best friends in middle school and into high school. They were my best best friends and I've often said 
my biggest heartbreak was losing these two friends and they didn't die or move away they just stopped being my friends what happened was really high school i at the start of high school i lost my self-confidence and because i didn't have any self-confidence i became like a weird awkward person so in our friendship i was weird and awkward and i self-sabotaged in a way that just created distance from myself and these two friends and eventually they stopped asking me to hang out and they would hang out together and um yeah they just stopped being my friends <laughs> this sounds so cheesy it's really really confusing to explain okay but even with work so historically in my jobs i start really confident and then somehow convince myself that i am not good enough or that i am lesser than the people in positions above me and i feel like to compensate for that i have to overwork so i continually end up overworking myself and it was the same way with school i did not feel like i was good enough unless i was overworking myself and so I became really obsessive about grades. I had to get all A's and it just kind of like, I think sabotaged my school experience. So I have no idea if this is relatable to any of you, but if you've ever been in the situation where you have these friends and then suddenly you just convince yourself that they're better than you or that you're not good enough or something happens to shake your confidence, and then it causes distance between you. Or if you find yourself overperforming at work, or if you found a hobby that you love, but you're just not sure that you're good enough at it to share it with others. I want you to recognize this as nonsense. I hope that that's not too harsh, but what I mean is these types of thoughts could all just be a form of self-sabotage. Like if past me, had been aware of this self-sabotage pattern in my life like maybe i could have stayed friends with my two best friends or like recognize that i wasn't weird and i wasn't awkward and i'm not weird and i'm not awkward and i mentioned my youtube analytics earlier because my bad analytics have made me lose confidence in myself and it's made me doubt my own capacity as a youtuber it's made me doubt the quality of my videos and if this doubt were to continue to grow and if i were to continue to lose self-confidence i don't think that i could show up and make videos but i've recognized this pattern about myself and just recognizing it for what it is self-sabotage i can learn to undo these beliefs about myself or just recognizing the pattern, recognizing what's happening will help me to get through it now with YouTube and with the new friends that I've made since after lockdown and self-isolation. If I ever have to get like a nine to five job again, I'll know not to overwork to show my self-worth. Instead, I hope to recognize my own worth from the beginning and to know that I am enough and that I do not have to exhaust myself to be worthy. And these are all the things that I want to say to you. It always comes back to you deserve to enjoy your life. You are more than enough and you are absolutely worthy of your own time. So if you're feeling bad about yourself or blaming yourself for things that aren't really your fault, whether it be a toxic work environment or just bad friends or nonsensical algorithms just want to give you a hug and to let you know that you are absolutely amazing and deserve the absolute best in life whatever your life circumstances are i know it's really really easy for me to say that sitting where i'm sitting living the life that i'm living but i just want you to know that you are worth the best and if anyone or thing tries to make you feel otherwise get rid of them let them know that you know better they don't they shouldn't be in your life and if it's your own self causing this sort of doubt and fear at least we've recognized it and can try and get better about it you are incredible okay mm. i don't know i think i've said it all except 
Believe in yourself, a wondrous you. Mmm.